sick or if I'm just super tired, probably a little of both, but I have my water and I have my coffee. I am going to be doing a Q&A with you all today. I haven't done a Q&A on my channel for a long time. I've honestly been kind of dodging it because I just, there's a, you guys are asking really hard questions and sometimes it's really hard to answer them, but I feel like I'm at a place mentally and um, like emotionally that I can talk about some of these things and to kind of explain a little bit, give you guys some more insight and just have a fun little chat. Today is Sunday. I move into my new apartment on sa Saturday, <laughs> on Saturday. So in six days, I have like everything cleared out right behind you guys. Let me show you. Behind you guys is all of my stuff that I've been packing. So I tried to like Get it all together so it's really easy to move but anyways if you guys are new to my channel welcome my name is caitlin i do a ton of daily vlogs i am a mom of one little girl i'm currently going through a divorce with my husband and i'm obviously moving out of my house moving into an apartment um so yeah this should be a really good q a if you guys want to hear some tea um just keep listening and as always if you guys like q a videos please give this one a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and let's get started Ugh. okay my throat feels sore this is like the worst time to Get sick. Scarlet's on fall break. My family flies in this week and I'm moving. Why does that happen? Anyways, I asked you guys on Instagram to send me questions. So I'm going to pull all of those up. Whenever I do a Q&A, I always ask for questions over on Instagram since I don't have comments on my channel. So if you're not following me there, you might go give me a follow over there as well. But I did read through some of these questions and oh my God, you guys go deep. <laughs> you guys want to know all, all of the little details. I will do my best to answer as much as I can and the best way that I can that I feel comfortable doing. Um, but please don't be offended if I don't answer your question or don't um, like explain something so the first one is how did you get started with youtube i don't really think i've talked about this for a long time but i started with youtube when i was on maternity leave from my job if you guys are new here i worked in the behavioral health field i was a case manager for kids with intensive behavioral health needs i went on a maternity leave to have scarlet and i didn't go back because I was able, thankfully, to be a stay-at-home mom. But I'm the kind of person who has to always like be busy and have some kind of like fulfillment other than being a parent. And um, that is when I looked to YouTube as a creative outlet. I've always been a creative person, so um, it just kind of checked off all of those boxes for me and I just dove on in and loved it. So that's how I started. I've been doing YouTube for, I think, a little over two and a half years now. I've gotten a lot of these questions asking about dating or when i'm going to start looking for love again or when i think um, is the right time to start dating i think you just kind of have to go with your heart if you personally feel like you're ready to start opening up and meeting new people then do it there's nobody to say you need to wait x amount of time or whatever i probably am going to be a little private about my dating life um, for multiple reasons so um, i hope you guys understand on that note though lots of questions asking if i want to get married again and if I want to be in a relationship again, and that is 100% true. I 100% do not want to be um, like playing the field or rebounding or whatever. That's not me. That's not what I'm looking for. Like I'm not, I, I don't think that would make me feel good. I think it'd make me feel icky. But yeah, I definitely want to date around to find that right person, but um, I'm not like, I'm not one of those people who's like, I want to have a good time. Yes, I want to have a good time, but I also like ultimately the number one thing I want in life is to have a partner and a marriage and a family and all of that jazz. So absolutely, 100%, I want to get married again. And um, another question I know because I've seen it on here a lot is asking if I want to have more kids when I potentially find that right person. And yes, I absolutely do. That's one thing that wasn't going to be in my future and my, my marriage, my last marriage so um that, and that is something that is extremely extremely important to me and honestly that, that's something that would be a deal breaker for me in a like dating relationship so i've learned through my past relationship what i definitely want in life and i definitely want to be married and expand my family and i want that kind of life that's what i want what scares you the most in this new journey you're about to begin Ooh, um i think the scariest part is meeting somebody and finding somebody who's going to accept me and everything that I bring to the table. It's one thing dating somebody, but it's another thing dating somebody and saying, hey, by the way, my entire life's on the internet. 
that makes things a little weird. But just finding somebody who accepts that and is okay with that lifestyle and respects the fact that I love what I do and um, respects my work and um, all of that, that is definitely something I'm, you know, hoping to find um, and makes things a little bit more challenging. I honestly just want to be accepted and also, you know, I have a daughter so that changes the dating scene a little bit. Um, Scarlett's obviously my number one priority and it's gonna be hard to date people because I have a very limited amount of time that I can date people and because of me being the primary caregiver of Scarlett. But thinking about those things and trying to um, like balance it all is a little scary, but I know it'll be worth it and I know it's like deep down what I really want in life. And I think the other thing is just finding somebody who um, like checks off all of my boxes. Dating this time around, I feel like my standards are really high, but at the same time, like I feel like I know exactly what I want in a person. Oh my gosh, my battery's about to die, hold on. New battery has been put in, let's resume. When you meet another guy, would you consider having more kids? Yes, so let me talk about this for a second because this is actually something that like really made me sad. <laughs> To think about I'm past it now but initially the thought of having another child with somebody else someday um, I really like obviously I want more kids you guys know that but it kind of made me sad because I always like envisioned having you know Scarlett have a sibling and um, then you know comparing their looks and having them like look like which sounds so dumb but like seeing like how the same biology could make another human and what differences what there would be so that was something I like was kind of sad about thinking like the thoughts came in I was sad and then I thought about it and I'm like wait a second obviously biology doesn't mean anything yes they may look different whatever like it's not that big of a deal I have two half sisters and never once have I referred to them as my half sister they've always been my sisters um, yes we have a different dad but they're still my sisters, they're still my family, and it's honestly not that big of a deal. And so, once I put everything into a bigger picture, the idea of having like a blended family is kind of cool to me because that's how I grew up, and it makes me appreciate my family that much more because biology doesn't always mean family. So yeah, there's my honest thoughts on that. Initially, I was kind of sad thinking about that, but now I'm kind of just like, whatever. It is what it is. Family is what you make it. <laughs> Can you discuss your work plans? I remember you mentioning not having to return to a traditional job. Yes, so um, YouTube will be my full-time job. Let me just break it down. I make more money through YouTube than I did working a nine to five job with my college degree. It would not make sense for me to go back to a traditional job. Financially, it would not make sense. Um, I'd have to put Scarlett in a daycare. There's literally, like, it's not even on the table. Yes, it's a backup. If for some reason something happens with YouTube, it's not steady enough, um, I don't wanna do it anymore, I have a plan B, and that is to go back to the field I was working in before. However, I'll talk about this later down the road. I've had a few opportunities actually come up that are related to social media that are actually, sorry if you hear Indy walking around, um, his paws on the floor. Some of these jobs are related to social media and I wouldn't be able to have these opportunities had I not been working in this field and this line of work so i have a couple steady monthly incomes coming in right now and like i said i'll go into more detail about that later down the road but basically i just have a bunch of side jobs that give me steady income and it's a lot of work it's a lot of hustling it's a lot of the unknown because you don't know like it's scary thinking like what if i don't get jobs that month i think it's all just going to come down to budgeting and spending my money wisely but at the same time I'm the kind of person who I'm not gonna settle. Like if I want something, I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna work for it and I'm gonna figure it out. But thankfully going into this divorce, I don't have that financial strain. Like I feel confident on my own and um, that can be like a really scary thing for people going into divorces, especially if they're a stay-at-home mom, is not knowing how they're going to afford it and all of that. But I'm thankful that I've set myself up so that is not an issue moving forward. Okay, editing this video back, I had to pause this and just explain how thankful I am for you guys. If it wasn't for you watching this video, there is no way I'd be able to even have this be an option to stay home with Scarlett and work from home and create these videos for you guys and be on Instagram. And I'm just so grateful that this is my job and this is my life and this is how I'm going to be able to provide for Scarlett. And I just can't express how thankful I am for you. So Thank you guys. Okay, that's it, returning to the video.
anyways next question um, i've had a couple of you guys ask like about ty and his feelings and stuff like that i don't want to speak for him some of you guys are asking if like he's in a relationship or if he's living alone or if he's living with somebody and you guys he's just living with his family he's not in a relationship like it's not no none of that how are you and ty deciding to split up all of your furniture and stuff furniture kitchen stuff um he's been like really cool about everything a lot of the stuff he just really doesn't even care about so i'm taking a lot of it we sold a lot of it i'm trying to start over as much as i can but um yeah he's just been really cool about the situation so we haven't had any differences or issues or anything could you do a what i eat in a day video i'm loving what you make thank you i really want to start doing those again i know it's been a while since i've done anything other than vlogs but vlogs are just the easiest videos to get up during this time. So um, yes, more what I eat in a day videos. I have a bunch of like holiday styled videos that I want to uh, do this season too. So stay tuned. I just got to get past all of this moving and get settled. How do you stay motivated to do everything you do? I have two under two. Well, I can't imagine having a second Scarlet <laughs> and doing all that I do. So I do only have one child, which does help and makes things a lot easier. I am just a very high strung, <laughs> Uh, motivated like naturally motivated person so I thrive and I uh, feel accomplished when I complete tasks and stuff like that like I don't know how to even explain it it's really hard for me to just like sit down and chill which I I need to be more like that I feel sometimes sometimes I feel like I'm just a little too much <laughs> so many questions about dating like every other question is about dating um, what are you most excited about in your new life honestly I'm most excited about a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of things. I'm excited for my apartment because I will get to, you know, com be completely in charge, like decorate my own way, um, spend my time how I want to spend my time. I, I don't know, like it's just, I'm just going to be on my own and I'm, it's kind of cool, kind of refreshing. If you've been married, you probably feel those feelings sometimes, maybe not. If not, then you're probably in a really good marriage. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is like, I'm in like complete control of my life now. I'm, I'm gonna be in complete control of the whole vibe of the house, the my mood, um, my mood affecting Scarlett's mood. Like I'm gonna be in control of it all. And the fact that I can just radiate positive energy in our new space, like I'm ready for it. Are you and your ex-husband friends or just co-parenting? Um, kind of both, I mean, I don't know how to explain that. Like, I feel like we've been friends living with each other for the past year, to be honest. So, um, yes, we're co-parenting well. Yes, we have our differences. Yes, there's times when we disagree or don't want to talk to each other. And I know this, like, may be a shock to some of you guys because it seems like I'm super okay with the divorce and everything. Like, all of these feelings, like, came and went so fast. And on one side of all of that, it kind of did. I'm kind of the person who, like, goes through something, deals with it, and then like moves on. Like you're dead to me kind of situation, which I'm, Ty's not dead to me, you know what I'm saying though. But on the other hand, I've been dealing with this for a long time. Ty's been dealing with this for a long time. So when you've already processed those emotions a long time ago, once you finally cut the cord, it's really easy to get past all of that. And um, I think that is just what has helped make this transition a little easy. Also the fact that we don't have like a financial strain, like we're both gonna be like financially okay. Um, we're getting along with parenting. Um, we've agreed on like literally everything. I think that helps make the situation so much better, which helps me be in a better emotional state and um, you know, just ready to move forward. How did your parents react to your huge news? I think they all kind of knew it would come eventually. Why don't you keep the house by yourself? So really good question. And this is actually something that I thought about, Ty and I thought about, but at the end of the day, I don't like, this is just a house to me. Um, there's been a lot of like negative energy here. Yes, there's been good memories. We brought Scarlett home here and all of that, but I want a fresh start and in order to get a fresh start, I can't be in the same space. Like I need a completely fresh start, which means 
a new home, a new place. And um, I just, I don't wanna be here anymore. That's what it comes down to. Like I am ready to have a new life and start over and I can't do that living in this house. So neither one of us wanted the house and we just decided it would be best for us just to sell. You said you filed for divorce. If you hadn't done it first, would Ty have done it? I don't know if he would have. Um, I think I'm, I was always kind of the one who would like put a foot down in the relationship and like take the initiative. And so I don't know if he would have, but I think secretly he wanted me to, I don't know. But I say I filed for divorce. That was, somebody has to file for divorce. So it was a mutual decision, but yes, I filed. Will you be sad if Ty starts dating? Absolutely not. This is another misconception that I think a lot of people are um, confused about too. I want Ty to be happy. I am totally fine if he starts dating. I hope he finds someone. I hope that for him. I truly do. We just don't click. And I'm like, I'm okay to say that. Like we just don't work. If you and Ty get along, why are you separating? <laughs> well, I get along with our mailman, but I'm not married to him. Okay, that was totally a joke. But what I'm trying to say is, just because we get along doesn't mean we should be married or stay married and I do think we rushed into marriage I do think we rushed into a lot of things and um, you know we are where we are today so um, yes we get along but no we don't do well be married is your family in town to help with the move my family flies in on Friday so I'm really excited to see them how did you know that it was the right thing to do by getting a divorce I think you just no, like you just know. Um, nobody's gonna tell you it's time. You have to make that decision yourself. Personally for me, I was very depressed about my future and um, just thinking about everything I was sacrificing to stay in my marriage. And I think there would have been a lot of long-term resentments. And I think I just would have been extremely unhappy. Um, and. Tie as well, but yeah, when the feeling's there, the feeling's there, and when those thoughts start coming into your head about divorce, how do you make time for yourself before kids wake up or after bedtime? So Scarlet wakes up at six o'clock in the morning now, um, and she has for the past couple of months, so I cannot get up before her. I can't get up that early. Honestly, <laughs> I have more time to myself now than I ever had. The fact that we're co-parenting, I've literally never had this much time to myself, and it's been, Awesome, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love being a mom, but the fact that Scarlett goes with Ty every other weekend, that is more time to myself that I've ever had in my journey of motherhood, and it has been awesome. Like, I get so much accomplished on those days, so I feel like it's easier now to find time for myself than it ever was. So I'm thankful that, um, you know, we are co-parenting. I have somebody asking oh, why we didn't do 50-50 custody, and I mean, we there's no way we could Ty works all the time um i didn't push for this this is just something we mutually agreed on and we thought would be best for scarlett i'm her primary caretaker i always have been ever since she was born so it would not make sense for her to be gone like from me for a week like she would not do good that would not be in her best interest and we both recognize that i have so many people concerned about our new floors in our house it's so funny this person asks did you know you were separating when you were getting new floors uh no you i didn't obviously those thoughts were in the back of our mind because it's been in the back of our mind for the past year and a half two years but we had no idea we'd be separating we had no idea we'd be um, getting a divorce it just happened one thing leads to another and you just put your foot down and it's time first of all putting new floors in our house whether we realize it or not <laughs> made our home value go way up so that was actually a very beneficial thing for us to do no we did not know we'd be selling the house i think i even told you guys after we put our floors in i didn't want to move like i was happy in our house and you know we'd always talked about moving but we ended up wanting to stay so yeah that was just like never in our thought process. <laughs> Once you get settled into your new place, what are something you are looking forward to? I'm honestly looking forward to um, like doing fun things again, like not worrying about the stressful stuff, um, like taking Scarlett to the pumpkin patch. I wanna take her to this new park that just opened up here in Gilbert. So just little things like that, um, like making things normal again. I can't wait to get a sense of normalcy and establish a sense of normalcy and routine back again. That is something I'm so excited about. 
Um, plus, I honestly love being in a new space. I, I'm one of those weird people who love moving. Um, yes, packing sucks, but I love like getting everything unpacked, sitting down and just finally like looking around you and thinking like this is where I'm gonna live for the next year. Like I'm, I love that. What's Scarlett going to be for Halloween? You guys saw it in my last vlog. She's gonna be a butterfly. Tell us how to make the fried Oreos again. Yes, okay, so all you need is three ingredients and an air fryer. So take crescent roll dough, take an Oreo, dip your Oreo in milk really fast. You don't want it to get soggy. Dip it in milk, place it in your crescent roll, wrap the crescent roll over it, Spray some oil down on your pan in the air fryer and then throw your Oreo on the air fryer, throw it in the air fryer and cook it for six minutes at 375. So good. How do you get your Instagram page to look so nude, bright, peachy, color toned, filtered? <laughs> okay, so I use the Sophia El Rey presets. I'll leave a link to them down below. I've used them for the past year. I love them. I adjust them a little bit um, just depending on the season, but that's all I do. Just apply a preset. She has mobile ones and then she also has desktop versions and I have both of them. So it just depends on how I take the picture. Has Ty been helping you with moving and selling your house? Uh, are you changing your home decor style at your new apartment? Kind of, I mean, it's still what I like. Um, and I think a lot of it will look familiar to you guys. Um, but I've definitely gotten some new items and I cannot wait to share with you guys. I move on Saturday before I start moving things in, I'm going to film an empty apartment tour. So that'll probably be up on Monday. What are your views on toys for Scarlett? Do you like to keep toys minimal? Uh, yeah, I, she doesn't really have that many. The only toys she has is that thing right there. And then these bins, I have a couple bins right here. Those are the toys she has. So whenever we buy a new toy, I always get rid of something else. So I've always tried to use that buy a new one, get rid of an old one kind of rule. And it works really well. Does Ty do visitations at your home? Will he continue there? If so, when you move? No. Well, okay. So right now he's taking Scarlett on the weekends to where he's living with his family. He's with his um, mom in Scottsdale. So they go up to Scottsdale, but on Wednesday nights, like since this is our house, he's just been coming over to the house and typically I leave or there was one night where I stayed and I worked on garage sale stuff. So that's kind of what we've currently been doing. But once I get moved into my apartment, he will be picking her up and taking her out for a couple hours every Wednesday night. What keeps you going? My future, my future, 100% the future that I know can be there. Like I know how good the future can be now and um i i'm just very positive for it i think just um you know like just looking ahead looking past these moments now and just looking more towards the future that's what keeps me going is doing these little things now to get where i want to be in a happy marriage with a family content like i know it'll happen i just have to be patient and how are you feeling about going from a quiet house to an apartment complex worried about noise uh, we're on the fourth floor so there's nobody above us so the noise situation i don't think will be as bad um i'm worried about us creating noise not necessarily people creating noise for us what do you do when you get super overwhelmed do you have a routine that you do the main thing that i do is i try to figure out what is making me overwhelmed is it because i'm backed up in work is it because um you know something somebody like hurt my feelings what what am i overwhelmed about so i try to address that prioritize things figure out how to get that situation taken care of and then move on with my day going to the gym is my mental clarity so that is always a helpful part of my day if i can make it to the gym that is always something that helps tremendously what kind of problems were you and ty having that pushed you all to ultimately make the decision um Overall, like everybody wants an answer. I don't have a specific answer. We just fell out of love. Um, we just were friends, we were roommates, we were, you know, co-parenting in the same house. Yeah, I mean, that's not the life I wanna live for the rest of my life. I don't know about you, but that's not how I wanna live. I want a partnership and I want, you know, a best friend and um, it, it gets exhausting living like that. Are you prepared for Ty to date, marry someone else? Kind of already answered this, but yes, I really, I really don't care. Like I'm not a jealous person to start off with. Okay, last question. How does your family feel about your decision to stay in Arizona? Um, <laughs> so initially, you know, my mom did everything she could to try to get me to move back. And I thought long and hard about moving back to Kansas. Yes, I miss my family so much. Yes, I'm frustrated I moved out here and my relationship ended. That makes me frustrated because now I'm away from my family. But on the other hand, like I've created this life out here. I feel established. I feel um, 
like I've you know, I have my group of friends and I have family out here. I don't feel like I'm alone here. And um, I, I genuinely love Arizona. Like I love the weather. I love everything there is to do here. I feel like there is a lot more opportunity for me here. And I just have no desire to move back to Kansas. Um, as much as I miss my friends and family back home, I just, I, I feel like my heart feels like I need to stay here. Plus, I don't want Scarlett to grow up never seeing Ty. Like, I don't want that for her. I don't want that for Ty. I feel like it's extremely important to encourage Ty and Scarlett's relationship. I'm gonna do everything I can as a parent, as Scarlett's mom, to help that relationship stay strong. I don't want to do that to either one of them. And honestly, moving back to Kansas would be a very selfish thing for me to do. So yeah, I've made the ultimate decision to do what's best for Scarlett and that is staying here in Arizona. Anyways, that is going to end today's Q&A. This is a long video, I think. So hopefully you guys like this. I know things have just been like all over the place and there's been a million questions. So hopefully this has answered some of your guys' questions and given some more clarity. I wish I could give you guys like exact reasons for things, but sometimes there just isn't an exact reason. But anyways, this video is going up and then next I have a day in the life vlog. It's a collaboration with somebody really fun. And then I think the next video after that will be either another moving vlog or the empty apartment tour. So stay tuned for all of those. Lots of fun stuff coming up. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.